Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go with another video on bonding. Bam! So today we're going to draw Lewis dot structure. Or sorry, we're going to draw resonance structures number two. So we're going to draw the resonance structure of sulfur dioxide. So the first thing that you need to do is get that formula. It's a binary non-metal compound because there are two non-metals, sulfur and oxygen. There's one sulfur, and because it's dioxide, there are two oxygens. So you should get the formula SO2. From that formula SO2, we need to draw the resonant, sorry, we need to draw the Lewis dot structure. And from that, we're going to use the periodic table. So, how many valence electrons in sulfur? Six. How many valence electrons in oxygen? Six. But there are two oxygens. So, 6, 12, 18. So we have 18 total electrons. Then we're going to use the then we're going to divide that by 2 to get the total number of electron pairs, which is 9 pairs of electrons. Now you, hopefully you got that okay. Now the next part here is to find the least electronegative element between the sulfur and the oxygen. And that is the element that is furthest from fluorine. Fluorine is the most electronegative element. So sulfur being the least electronegative element, that's going to go in the middle. Then the two oxygens are going to go around the sulfur. The first thing you need to do is place uh, bonding pairs of electrons in between the oxygen and the, the outside oxygen and the sulfur, and then the outside other oxygen and the sulfur. Then place lone pairs of electrons around the oxygens, and then dump the extra pair of electrons on the central element of the sulfur. Then you have to verify the octet rule. Okay, now the sulfur still does not have an octet, so you're going to have to use one of the lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen to get a double bond on that sulfur, on that central sulfur. So hopefully that makes sense for you, and then you should get a Lewis dot structure, something like that right there, at least one of them. Okay, there's the Lewis dot structure. It has the central sulfur atom. It has a lone pair of electrons on it. It has one sigma bond on the right-hand side, and then it has a sigma and a pi bond on the left-hand side with the double bond. Okay, so um, this molecule, you can actually draw it another way, and that is you can place that double bond in another position, and that is on the right-hand side oxygen, and then you would get another Lewis dot structure. So now, this is an equally valid Lewis dot structure, therefore these have resonance structures. You always have to draw double-headed arrows in between these. Now, on this one, I don't have brackets and a charge because this is a molecule without a charge. It is not an ion, so it does not need the brackets, but it most certainly does need the double-headed arrow to designate that these are resonance structures and they are equivalent structures. So, um, I'm going to show you this molecule here. You've seen this before because we've done this Lewis dot structure before one single time. Now, I'm just showing this as a shape of a molecule. It doesn't have the double and the uh, single bonds in it, but one of these is a double bond. One of these is a single bond. But this right here that I'm holding on to is the lone pair of electrons here. Okay, And then that tells you what this structure is. Now, either one of these Lewis dot structures, one of the resonance structures, can give you the X-type geometry, and that's AX2E. That lets you know that there are two bonding pairs around the central element and one lone pair around the central element. Now, notice that double bond counts as one region, okay? And that single bond counts as one region, and the lone pair on the central element is the E. That tells you that there are two bonding and one non-bonding on the central element. From this, we should be able to get that the shape is bent or angular, and that's what I had here for you. This is bent or angular. Okay, if it's bent or angular, then the bond angle is less than 109.5. It's pretty close to 105. Okay, now this molecule is polar because it has polar bonds. That's the first criteria. It does have polar bonds, and the molecule itself is asymmetric. Okay, because it has polar bonds and it's asymmetric, it's a polar molecule. Okay, now, one other thing here that we're going to do is we're going to do the bond order just like what we did for the nitrate ion. So, how many bonds are on the central element between outside elements? I see one, two, and three bonds. And how many regions are there with bonds? That's one and two. 
The lone pair of electrons on the central element does not count as a bond because they are non-bonding pairs of electrons. It also does not count as a bonding region because it's a non-bonding region. So the number, the bond order for this is three bonds over two regions. Okay, and that lets you know that the bond order is three halves or one and a half, if you will. Right? So that means that experimentally there are no double bonds in sulfur dioxide. Experimentally, there are no single bonds in sulfur dioxide. In fact, each oxygen is bonded with a three halves bond, a bond and a half. Okay? And it doesn't matter. Either oxygen is with a three halves bond order. Experimentally, this is shown with the bond energy that is broken, and it doesn't matter which oxygen. So there are no double bonds. There are no single bonds. But the resonance structure allows us to do, write that down as far as a structure. And we should know that there's no oscillation between these. Okay? I'm hoping that that was a great video here. And I got one of my favorite hats. This is one of the original crazy hat chemistry chemist hats right here. And I am the grand poobah, baby. Okay, I like this. This matches my hair very nicely. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like that video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the hat. And subscribe to my YouTube channel because I need more subscribers and I need to make more videos. So I'm going to see you next time for more resonance structures. I'll see you later. Bye now.